hey beauties welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome in today's video we are going to be doing a review of the new patrick ta major headlines blush palette so if you would like to see how the colors look in here what are my thoughts and feelings on this palette keep on watching so patrick ta has dropped a new blush palette i am so excited i have literally been waiting for this palette to drop here in the uk and after about a week it is finally available on the cult beauty website before we do get into the palette i am going to be doing a little bit of reading up just so you guys are fully aware of what we can expect introducing the new patrick tar major headlines blush palette a six pan palette that unites powder and cream formulas for three scrumptious shades that will give you your best flush yet the way you're supposed to use this is use a fluffy brush and then apply the powder layer on a cream blush with the fingertips or with a sponge to give a luminous glowing finish this also does retail for 54 pounds so let's get straight on into it so this is the packaging this is simply how it comes you'll have to like excuse the fingerprints and then once you open it this is how it looks but guys my palette literally came broken so the flap that is meant to cover over the cream mine it actually came off so i am so annoyed with that i have messaged cop beauty to see if they can send me another one because i'm not keen on just having the creams just open like that and having it how it can get to the powder that is just not something i want these are the colors that you get so we have she's a doll she's vibrant she is baked i'm gonna try this shade first ah, i'm so nervous about this shade this shade is so bright but we're gonna do it just a little bit on i'm literally being so careful with this So as you do see with the cream, it definitely does leave that luminous effect. Now I'm gonna try it with the powder on top. That is how much product it picks up. Oh! So that is it with powder i didn't realize i put on that much oh my god wow okay well at least you guys can see it my first thoughts on the first color blush i am not keen on this color this color is just like it's very out there for me i think i'm more than likely gonna like the middle blush because i do lean more to those colors so i'm gonna get this one off and we'll put the next one on into she's vibrant just here so the way that you're supposed to apply the blush is that you're actually supposed to add the powder first and then you're supposed to add the cream on top so i'm just going to go in with my morphe brush and i'm simply just going to do about two taps because i can see that this is bright and we're simply just going to add the blush so as you guys can see it is pigmented like Patrick Tar definitely did make this pigmented for us. I have to say, I definitely do like this shade. This shade is very pretty. I think out of all the colors, I think this one might end up being my favorite. So let's see now how it looks when you put the cream on top. So when you do put the cream on top, it's actually supposed to give it that kind of shine because it is a cream. So you can definitely see the difference of when you do add the cream. You simply just have the powder on its own. It 
definitely do like the look of this i think me personally i think when you add the cream on top it just makes the powder just a little bit more deeper but so far so good it's definitely sticking onto the rest of my makeup and i'm definitely happy with the way everything looks so beauties we're gonna get this one off and we're gonna put on the final one and this one is called she's baked So beauties, my final thoughts on Patrick Tar's new blush palette. I absolutely love it. I think my favorite one has to be She's Vibrant, the one that's in the middle. I just think that the shade looks absolutely stunning. You can now purchase this on the Cult Beauty website, Sephora, and it's soon gonna be available on the Patrick Tar website me personally i personally don't like using cream blushes i personally do like to use powder i think it sits really well with the rest of my makeup i'm definitely happy the way that it looks this does retail for 54 pounds so it definitely is on the more expensive side but overall i have to say i really don't have any complaints about this palette other than it was a bit tricky for me to be putting on taking off putting on taking off but it's all for YouTube guys, this is why we do it. Those are my final thoughts on the new Patrick Ta blush palette. Do let me know if you're picking this up and I'll definitely be seeing you guys in my next video. Do make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Bye.